mathematicians, here's how we find the area of a triangle. So looking at this, um, we know how to find the area of a rectangle, but do you see triangles in there? Well, a triangle is really just half of a rectangle. So you can go ahead and cut it in half on the diagonal. And there you've got two triangles. So when you're looking for the area of a triangle, we can actually use the area of a rectangle formula and then just cut it in half. Same thing with a parallelogram. If you cut it in half on the diagonal, I'll go the other way just for fun. We get two triangles. So the parallelogram uses the same area formula as a rectangle. Area equals base times height. So if you cut that in half, you have the area for a triangle. So a triangle is half of a rectangle or parallelogram. To find the area of a triangle, we need to identify the base and the height. Remember that the base and the height must form a right angle. So you can see in our example down here, we have our base and our height is on the inside. It goes from the base to the very tallest point in the triangle. You can also have triangles like this, where this would be your base and you would have to put these dotted lines, which mean it's not really part of the shape, to form that right angle on the outside and measure from the tallest point to the lowest point, and that would be your height. But our two area formulas are area is base times height and then cut it in half, or area is base times height divided by two. So times a half or divided by two, same thing, you'll get your area for the triangle. So let's use this example over here. My base is one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna write that in, that's my base. My height is one, two, three, four, oh, also five. So I always, always, always start with my area formula. I don't know my area, so I'll write A again. One half is already a number, I don't need to replace it. My base is five. Notice I'm adding in the time symbols Sometimes you can start with the first two terms. I honestly use the half first if one of these other numbers is even. When it's not, I'd rather do 5 times 5 first because I don't want to have to multiply with decimals or fractions later. So 5 times 5 is 25. Cut that in half. Half of 25. So my strategy is I go down to an even number. Half of 24 is 12. And 25 is really one more than 24. Cut that in half. That's 12 and a half. Or if you wanted it in decimal form, 12 and 5 tenths. You, we don't have units here, so I'll just write units. And remember, it's area, so it's area squared. That's how you find the area of a triangle.